Once I saw everything was in stock, I was like, bye, 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 bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. So it's another manga haul, you know? I feel like every time I do a manga haul, I always say like, oh, this is gonna be the last one. That is literally the biggest lie I've ever said. Why are you always lying? Because every time I say that, I always have a haul. So um, yeah, today is actually my last day being at home. I'm leaving tomorrow to go to London. And you guys probably know I will be going to Comic Con. That's why I'm going to London and then coming back home again. Not coming back home, going back to uni and staying at uni until Christmas so I won't be here again for another two months so I'm gonna miss my collection a lot but I'm gonna pack up more manga to take up to uni with me again so I can read more series so definitely stay tuned for all the wrap-ups coming your way because boy I have read some great series like yesterday I managed to finish Blue Flag and I'll, I'll save it for the wrap-up tomorrow that I'm gonna film before I get the train but anyway today is predominantly I think it's actually all black wells so um yesterday I filmed another manga haul which you've probably seen like the week before or maybe a few weeks before and I did a books please slash traveling man haul and I added a few more books please parcels that I thought but actually they were black wells that was meant to be in this haul but it was basically water koi volume 5 okay you can't see it but I have water koi volume 5 and also I showed you guys um, Perfect World Volume 8 and also Sweat and Soap Volume 7. But yeah, so in this lovely jubbly haul, I have some new series again. Uh, oh, oh, my throat just went really weird just now. But yeah, um, in this haul, I have some new series and also some manga that I needed to fill in the gaps and that stuff. But pretty much some exciting stuff because if you notice lately, a lot of my manga hauls, I only pick up like more recent series that are like current at the moment as yeah that's what i've been collecting but yeah i'm really excited um i know there's gonna be a man's cat and another series that i'm super gassed that i can't believe i own but you guys will see but yeah before we get into this video please give this video a like comment and subscribe you know the drill click on the bell and feel free to use my affiliate links down below for amazon bright stuff and blackwells to help support this channel and its future giveaways all of this is going to be from blackwell so i'm going to start off with the flimsy parcels first then we get into bad boys so first off let's go with this so let's try this i'm always very bad at unboxing but oh come on uh, maybe not come on ah, ah, ah. i grew out my nails a bit and they they need a bit of filing and oh god oh there we go we got it finally eventually Ever since I've come back, I feel like I have to do a lot of recycling because every time I film hauls, it's just so much cardboard everywhere. But, um, oh, what's this? Oh, of course, there's always going to be a Blackwell's parcel, not Blackwell's parcel, a Blackwell's bookmark. I always have to mention my stack. It has grown very, very lovely. You can tell I am literally very loyal to Blackwell's. It is literally my favourite place to buy manga other than Travelling Man and, like, Amazon but we tend to stay away from Amazon a bit actually on the topic of Amazon sorry about my voice by the way I just have a very tickly throat but I'm not ill well I won't consider it as ill I just have a tickly throat it's not contagious or anything but um I just sound a bit raspy is it raspy oh what's it called what's it called croaky is it croaky I was gonna say something husky that's the word my voice just sounds a bit husky that's it. I'm trying to make it sound sexy, aren't I? Yeah, I think it's too bright. But basically, I got myself um, Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight. I mentioned it in my last haul. Basically, it's a series that I'm currently obsessed with. It's a shoujo series. And um, it's published by Kodansha as well. It is an age gap series. What a surprise. But um, I won't mention the age because to me it's quite off-putting. That's why I never like touched that series at all until recently. I just thought... I don't know the premise of it sounds very interesting basically the girl gets with um like an idol so um someone that's famous and I, I really like that trope like someone that's an idol getting like getting with someone that's norm not normal but a normal civilian you know someone that is not famous and um I really like that trope so I read it and I just loved it but I just couldn't get over the age gap it was the age gap 
I mentioned it in my last haul, but it's 24 and 16. Yeah, 24 and 16. No, just, just no. Okay, we don't need that, hun. Um, I wish the manga could change the age, for, like as the girl as 18 or something, and the guy as like 20. Then I would say big thumbs up. But the fact that the age gap is just. Let me know down in the comments if you guys feel the same. But basically, my volume one is on its way. Um, I basically picked out as much volumes as I can of that series as I'm obsessed right now. But anyway, back to the haul. So I picked up. Volume 2 of To Your Eternity, perfect timing as I will be taking this with me to uni as I have read volume 1 over here, oh, oh it's over here, you can't even see, let me show you. So if you can see here my lovely To Your Eternity volumes, I picked up some random volumes whilst I was in uni, the back, I'll flick through some pages as well since it's early on in the series to show you the art style as always. To me, what are your thoughts? Let me know down below of your uh, thoughts on this series because I went to an uh, anime society whilst I was in uni and a lot of people didn't, they weren't really fond of the series to be honest, which I'm so, su so surprised. I don't know if it's because I'm a manga reader more than an anime watcher as I went to an anime society so most of them watch the anime rather than read the manga and they said it's a bit too slow for them. So I'm, I'm not too sure, but reading it, I've been enjoying it a lot. And I've also heard a lot of opinions about Blue Period as well recently. I watched the first episode and I noticed like the anime is not like the typical flow of an anime. It doesn't have much background music and that. But um, yeah, Blue Period, a lot of people have dropped that, unfortunately, with the anime. However, the manga is so, so amazing. So hopefully like I, I don't know I've only watched the first episode of Blue Period so I have to see as more episodes comes out but for me I'm not too really too fussed to be honest but um yeah this is some of the pages of To Your Eternity I feel like today I'm just going off on a tangent as I had a whole day of online uni but um yeah those are some pages of To Your Eternity what is not a manga haul from Himika if it doesn't have Yona Dawn? So this is Yona Dawn Volume 30. I believe by now like Volume 31 or 32 is already out. I'm definitely trying to keep track with um, my collecting with this series. I don't have any of the earlier volumes but anything from like Volume 20 upwards I do have. I think I'm missing Volume 25 in the 20 section. But yeah this is Yona Dawn Volume 30. Um, this is the back. The back is so so beautiful look at that that's gorgeous and that stuff yeah the front i wonder what happens in this volume i'm so curious about this series but i've just been putting it off uh, until i get more volumes of it yeah i'm just curious about how this series is gonna go like since i've just been collecting i haven't been reading like i don't know like imagine i've wasted a lot of money and all this time collecting the series and i end up not liking it i hope that doesn't happen like at the end of the day this is such a well loved series and i do love it so much but the fact that it's so ongoing i don't know but everyone says it's worth the ongoingness but this is the most ongoing series i have in my collection currently and it is a fat ass commitment okay if you don't have like a full-time job or part-time job just going off by savings trying to collect this is a struggle but at least it's published by viz i'm just i'm just glad this is viz not like kadansha or like yen press if it was i'll, I'll be crying out my ass right now because <laughs> i don't know my description i always talk like i always use bums i don't know why but anyway <laughs> but it's uh, yeah it's the fact that yeah, this series published by Viz, thank God. If it was from other publishers, yeah, my bank will be crying like crazy. Like, yeah, I'm already on a very tight budget. The fact that I made it work from a tight budget to buy manga, this is just crazy. And I also bought tickets for like Comic-Con. Like, how did I do that? I don't know. Um, I've just been eating like beans on toast. Jokes, I don't do that to myself. But if I do struggle, I do eat beans on toast or like just spaghetti for a week, which is, no, actually what I did was I ate ramen for a good like four or five days, which I do not recommend, okay? Look after your health, lovelies. Look after your health. Anyway, Year of Dawn, volume 30. I feel like this is more of a chitty chatty manga haul. Um, next we have is, I just love unboxing. Do you guys ever feel that? Especially as I accumulated quite a lot of manga whilst I've been away. I don't really remember what I picked up. So like seeing it is like Christmas all over again. So let's see what I have. Ooh! 
10 seconds. So I got volume eight of Witch Hat Atelier. So, or uh, Witch Hat Atelier. So what I've noticed with my volume seven as well, they added the Academy Awards like badge now. So it's basically printed on, it's not like a sticker, but this is what volume eight looks like. This is the most recent volume of Witch Hat Atelier. And yeah, this is just a beautiful series. This is definitely, it feels a lot thinner than the other volumes in my opinion, but um, I'll show you like the first page. Hopefully it's not like too much spoilers, but look at the art style. The art style is stunning. But okay, that is um, volume eight okay there is more to your eternity so this is to your eternity volume 11 and quite interesting to see different characters on like the front covers because at the end of the day i don't know much about this series other than volume one so i wonder what happens really so yeah that is volume 11 next we have is oh my god i'm so happy this one i'm definitely taking out with me to uni so i picked up volume 8 of Spat and soap and you guys already know this is my all-time favorite romance series seinen series like this is just my all-time favorite series along with um the promised neverland this just melts my heart so much like it's such no matter what type of genre reader you are or whatever demographic as long as you're above the age of 16 i'm pretty sure you will enjoy this i know quite a few people might be turned off from like the first volumes like saying that either the relationship was too quick or like just i don't know how to describe it if you want a healthy mature romance that is a bit of slice of life and also office romance definitely go for this series like it's so so good and it's got smart okay it's got smart like i said it's a mature romance so it does have some smutty scenes but so oh it makes you want to root for the characters like it's just so great and i'm so sad that this series is ending at 11 volumes we're so close to the end i think the series finishes at the end of this year so that is just crazy but yeah i will be um taking volume eight and nine with me to uni my volume nine is a bit like oh, i was over here my volume nine that i picked up from books please i've had to put cellar tape on it because basically this side was like proper open and it, it was so sad not gonna lie but it is what it is i can't really do anything much about it but yeah volume eight in my hands so happy we're on to the bad boys now of the manga haul so yeah let's get to it so oh do i need my scissors where is my kitchen scissors <laughs> look at me I, I just can't unbox like oh my god okay okay right <gasps> okay i am <laughs> I'm so gassed. Okay, I see two volumes. I thought it would be one, to be honest. So, Blackwell's um, bookmark, of course. First, I want to talk about is Living Room Matsunaga san. This is volume seven. This is the most recent volume. Hopefully, I'll be able to read this tonight so I don't have to take it up to uni with me as I'm already taking up so much um, manga with me. I'd like to keep more of my series like here, if that makes sense. But at the same time, I don't want to keep it here. Um, Long story short, whilst I've been away, my mum has been dehumidifying my room as this a room used to be a garage so and it's also been built by a cowboy builder so it doesn't have any like, I don't know how to describe it, it doesn't have pure air, I don't know, basically it's very very humid in this room and it's very damp so there's like woodlouse problems and basically paper absorbs the water, oh I heard a car, okay basically yeah paper absorbs water and basically oxygen has water in it of course so what happened when i came back from uni i saw all my manga covers they were like curving in and curling and if you follow me on instagram you would have known and also that's the reason why some of like the manga looks a bit wavy in that and um yeah that's why i'm like oh do i keep it here or do i take it to uni but then if i take it to uni i live in a studio so there's not much air going around there either because i have a tiny ass window and also my kitchen's right next to everything so it gets a bit like steamy and i don't know would the smell like the book will absorb the smell as well so i'm not too sure but anyway back to the manga haul really like the dynamic between matsunaga-san and miko and i'm just 
like I'm just excited to see where this is going to go I'm not so sure if this series is going to complete very soon it might be complete it might not be in Japan but I'm, I'm just excited but we're already on volume 7 and we haven't got to a point where it's like wow you know so i don't know if it's gonna come to a conclusion anytime soon but yeah let me know down below if you guys know but yeah this is volume seven of living room up to my accent the other volume that i was gassed about that i opened is this volume so this is our dreams at dusk and i didn't know that this volume was this small For some reason i thought it'd be the same size as the kodansha volume if you can tell so this is the size of it I don't know if it's even smaller than a Viz volume. Let me get a normal Viz volume. Yeah, it's even smaller than a normal Viz volume. Wow. So, um, yes, it's definitely shorter. This series has been on my radar for a very, very long time, but it's just been out of stock for the longest time as well. So I can't believe I have this in my hands. I actually managed to pick up the rest of the series in this haul, so you will see it later on as well. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to read this. This is a complete series and it tackles things that like societal issues and also slice of life, like everything like that. But I'll go on my anime list to look up the genre and everything. But I'm going to read the blurb quickly so you guys know what this series is about. So, a beautiful tale of coming out and coming of age wow okay that's some powerful line there so not only in his high school tatsuku kaname the new kid in town he is also terrified that he has been outed as gay just as he's contemplating doing the unthinkable oh what's the unthinkable tatsuku meets a mysterious woman who leads him to a group of people dealing with problems not so different from his own in this realistic heartfelt depiction of lgbt Oh, LGBT plus characters from different backgrounds find their place in the world. A search for inner peace proves to be the most universal experience of all. Wow, this sounds like this is gonna be a very touching story. Wow, just from the first looks on my anime list, this series is actually ranked 100 out of like so many manga. So like, that's crazy. So this was published from 2015 to 2018. This is drama, slice of life, psychological, seinen series. And wow, I'm just looking at the rating from um, other like readers. So a lot of people gave this a 10, an 8, a 9. One gave it a 5. So I'll definitely see how I get on with this. This might be a series that I will take with me to uni. So potential another wrap up or review. If not, you guys just have to wait for the new years until i read the series but hopefully i'll take this with me so yeah that's volume one of a dreams at dusk makes a big difference so here we have two volumes again and they're both to your eternity i think the reason why i picked up so much to your eternity volumes is because it was on offer on blackwells as normally this series is 10 pound 99 um oh it just folded oh you saw that i thought that was cut um so it's folded oh that's unfortunate oh it's a big ass dent now okay we just have to move okay we have volume four okay i will be taking this with me to uni this is a very interesting front cover to be honest don't mind the um was it crinkle <laughs> and then volume nine but what i was saying yeah black wells they had these for like seven pound 99 and original cost they cost ten pound 99 when I bought some of the volumes at Forbidden Planet, overall they were three for two, so it was like £21.98. And if you buy £7.99 times by three, it's only like £2 more than if you buy it for three for two, which is not too bad to be honest. Um, so that's why I picked up um, these for £7.99 on Blackwells. And yeah, this is a very pretty cover, if you can tell. And the back is beautiful. Wow. But yeah, adding more to your eternity um, volumes to my collection. But yeah, this is looking like a good stack. Next, we have two more parcels and we're done. This haul is pretty quick, to be honest. So this one we have, oh, we have one, two, three, four. <gasps> I'm excited, I'm excited. <laughs> so we have is volume four of A Man and His Cat. If you haven't heard me talk about this series, I think... Um, I talked more about this series either on my Instagram or my live stream, but this is a series that I'm in love with. Like, it's not even, I mean, it just touches my heart so much. This series is just 
pure wholesomeness <laughs> I can't even talk pure wholesomeness and also slice of life like this series just it touches my heart so much like and I don't own a cat that's the crazy thing I don't even own a cat but this series is absolutely amazing and the quality is published by Square Enix and or even look at the back like I'm just looking at the back right now there's some color pages like look how cute that looks like what the heck and I also like the back as well like the quality of this manga is ridiculous like the paper is so special like i don't know how to describe it it's not like paper it's just it's it's quality it's like it's between paper and card like that's how like good the paper is it's not like flimsy and that stuff and i'll show you some pages because i don't think this series is really spoilery as it's quite episodic but it's such an enjoyable episodic manga like for me i'm not a fan of episodic manga i have to be in a certain mood for it but with this this is just beautiful so i'm just gonna show you some pages like even look at the grandpa chibi like he looks so cute but yeah i just want to show you um some of the pages this series is just pure wholesomeness I, can't, I, I really feel like I can't say the word wholesomeness, wholesomeness, and it's just, oh, absolutely beautiful, like, I can't talk enough about this series, it's just, it's so great, literally pick it up, even though you're not a cat lover, pick this up, like, for me, I'm allergic to cats, so, yeah, I don't know why I always say that, what, what does that have to do with this manga, yeah, but I'm trying to say is like, even though I don't have a pet, like I could relate to this series a lot somehow. It just I can empathize with the grandpa and the cat. Can you imagine? I can empathize for a cat. That's crazy. Like this series talks in both perspectives of the cat's view and the old man's view. And um yeah. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> it's just so cute. And oh, uh, it's just also the never is it was it is the unconditional love that the grandpa has for the cat and also for the cat for the old man. It's just oh, it makes your heart melt. But anyway, enough of me talking about a man and his cat. This is volume four. Next we have is oh yeah boy, another series that I have to read tonight. Um yeah, I definitely had to read it by tonight because it won't be worth it for me to take it up to uni. So I picked up volume 3 of the Puff Crow Diaries. You guys know I absolutely love this series. It's great, it's fun and I just like the main girl character because she's so badass and that. I've talked about it in my other hauls but she is just, <laughs> she's sick. But um, yeah, I just really like the series. This is a historical manga, it's staying in. But yeah, I'm really excited to read more of this series and I can't wait for more volumes to come out. And this is also published by Square Enix. One thing I do want to mentioned though a lot of the time when i go to like forbidden planet and that stuff they don't really sell this series i don't know why and it's not in the normal manga section by the way it's always in the light novel like section in forbidden planet which i'm not too sure about i know this is stemmed from a light novel then turned into a manga series so maybe that's the reason but yeah i hardly see this in store to be honest but online you can get this very very easy and for a very very good price i think i got this for like £6.99 when like originally this cost like probably like eight no probably £9.99 or £10.99 but yeah that is volume three of Puff Crow Diaries oh my god I'm so excited just so many great series to read tonight next we have is yes oh wow volume four is thick okay um this is just more volumes of our dreams at dusk and just from the cover you can see how beautiful the art style is actually let me show you volume one's pages i've got to do that so this is what inside volume one looks like it has a color art page and um i really like the fine line details it's very very lovely oh so this is the first couple pages of the series and you can tell from the art style it's definitely very pretty as well so yeah that is um volume one so this is volume three and four like i mentioned and just the covers like definitely volume four is super pretty i think it's because it's got my favorite colors on it as well and it's definitely a lot thicker compared to the other volumes but yeah i really like the spines as well the spines are very very pretty next we have is 
come on, Asadora. This is another volume that I need to read by tonight. So Asadora is by the manga Naoki Urasawa and this is my first series from this manga and I absolutely love it already. Like volume one got me hooked but volume two got me so hooked that I'm like I need to read the whole series right now. But the fact that this series is currently ongoing, I'm not too sure how many volumes this is going to get to but I'm excited to see Asadora's journey. Like this is a fantastic series okay. Even though we're just only on volume 3 at the moment 100% recommend especially if you haven't read any Naoki Urasawa's works I feel like this can be a great starter to get into his series as I know some of his series can lean towards more psychological sci-fi like um monster or something might not be for everyone's taste but I feel like Astora does open up different um readers in my opinion this is just my opinion by the way <laughs> don't bash me <laughs> but um yeah Astora volume 3 super excited like the art style is just phenomenal like look at the detail but yeah definitely reading this tonight like oh my god i love this haul already like you can tell like with my recent hauls as well picking up series that i really do enjoy especially like volumes that are like ongoing at the moment that i'm currently reading it's just it makes like my hauls even more fun because i'm like i'm genuinely excited for all these volumes and reading them but yeah oh it looks like volume two was in here as well of our dreams at dusk wow this cover art is stunning like that is gorgeous look at that and even the back and on to the last parcel of the day for this haul is another Blackwells parcel of course because this is a Blackwells haul um that was definitely a coincidence so it looks like there's three volumes in here let me just take out oh my god okay <laughs> this is great this is just one series by the way I think oh no it's not just one series actually let me show you this one first so I have um, To Your Eternity Volume 14. This is also a recent volume that was released recently. This was £7.99. So more To Your Eternity. I feel like if you know like me, if you actually, if you're new to the channel, you wouldn't, um, you wouldn't know, of course. But basically, I'm the type of collector to pick up all the series all at once if that makes sense so i don't really like having gaps in my collection unless i can't control like golden kamui and um you know the dawn those are series that are like i have to have gaps in my collection but when it comes to like ongoing series that i can and if i could afford to fill in the gaps i'll definitely pick it all at once so like to your eternity you saw so many volumes of to your eternity that's why <laughs> I picked it all up and also our dreams at dusk like once I saw everything was in stock I was like bye 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 because I just don't like having gaps in my collection if that makes sense and also when I tend to read manga I tend to binge read I don't just like read as I go along if that makes sense unless I'm reading like an ongoing series that I'm reading at the moment but I tend to read everything all at once rather than waiting and i know that sounds odd maybe to some people but yeah i'm more of a collector that likes to have everything all at once just want to put it out there in case you guys don't know it or if you feel like wow like why is he mikhail hall she always picks the same thing up like that's that's basically why but anyway the last two um volumes of this manga haul is the witch and the beast so basically i have all the volumes of the witch and the beast and i am up to date and i'm not too sure should i bring it all up with me to uni so i can read it all or should i just save it and keep it here and wait until christmas time to binge read um the whole of this i don't i don't know maybe should i just take it with me should i when I read it in within two months because I still have Pumpin to read. I still have Solo Nin and also After the Rain to finish and also all my other series that I got. But shall I bring the series? I think this will be the only legit series. Okay, it's either it's I bring all of Our Dreams at Dust with me to uni or I bring The Witch and the Beast to me to uni. Um, and this is a series I'm super intrigued about. Like, look at the covers first, actually. That is a good thing to say. So this is the covers, the spine, so beautiful, and the back. And like I said, I do own all the volumes of this series. So yeah, I'm up to date. I'm not too sure if this is a very ongoing series or it's near to completion. I'm not too sure, but I'm looking forward to reading it. I have heard lots of good things about this series. And the reason why I picked this up is because of someone's manga collection. I remember watching it and I just saw it and I was like, oh and the person really recommended it and i just made a comment i was like yeah i'm gonna pick this up and they're like yeah pick it up so yeah i picked it up finally so i'm intrigued to read the series
series. I'm excited to see what it's about. I forgot what it's about, to be honest. I did remember reading the blurb in one of my hauls, I think. But, oh, I think that is my Amazon parcel. One second. Oh my god, it is my Amazon parcel. Here it is. Oh, wow. Perfect timing whilst I was about to conclude this manga haul. But let me just cover it up so I don't flash my address. But yeah, this is a series, like, I don't remember what I... Oh, now I dropped it had to do that didn't I with this series like I don't remember much from what I read in one of my hauls but I know it's got vampires in it it's a fantasy series it's just I don't know the art style is really intriguing like I, I don't know if you get the same vibe as me but yeah super excited for reading this series like gas I'm gonna see yeah I think it's about witches and that like yeah i'm really debating if i should take this up i'm gonna ask on instagram and do a poll like if i should take the series up with me or should i take um our dreams at dusk and see who wins and whoever wins i'll take whichever one with me to uni and do a proper review but yeah that is um witch and the beast and of course from the beginning of the video i told you i had an amazon parcel on the way so this should be um kiss me at the stroke on midnight volume one I think my other volumes for um, Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight will come even next week or the week after. But like I said, I won't be here for the upcoming two months until Christmas. So we'll, we'll see. But, oh, this is a thicker. Wow, I like this. Basically, I picked up volume four and six recently from Forbidden Planet. And not gonna lie, the condition was so yellow and B, and I still picked it up at full price. I picked up full price, okay, £10.99. I did buy it for free for two though, but still, it's a lot of money, you know? And having it all in a condition that's not like brand new, it just, sometimes it is upsetting, but in my head I'm like, it is what it is. I did pick up volume two of this series from World of Books though, so I'll see how that goes um, and the condition once I come back here near Christmas time. So I'll update you guys then. Hopefully that parcel doesn't get soaked. And I just want to show you guys on the pages Like I love, if you can tell from the back, I love the facial expressions of the girl. Like it's just so fun i don't know like this series just got me so hooked and um yeah just forget about the age gap and i think you'll be good but yeah this series is super fun very fluffy very shoujo this is a shoujo series i think it's that color page i believe this series has art book as well so this is the idol guy by the way and then let me just show you some of the pages of the series so you can see what the art style is like but yeah this is definitely right up my alley and like i said i'm obsessed with this series i'm currently reading it at the moment this series i'm super excited to read more about it is a completed series volume 12 is coming out in january 2022 so um yeah currently there's 11 volumes out the last volume is coming out early next year so it is complete and i'm just gassed i'm just gassed and another fun thing i want to mention is the main guy does have like a they call it a butt fetish i would you call it a fetish yeah i'll say more like he's just obsessed with butts like but I'll, I'll do an example like it's just i find it so quirky and funny like yeah it's just not like something that you expect from an idol if you can see like i think they went to the arcade and he won a little figurine that has a nice booty like i just love all the facial reactions makes it very comedic but um yeah this guy you can tell he's definitely into butts and um it's just a very fun series that i can't believe well actually i can believe that um the reason why i don't want to read this series at first because of the age gap but if you can look past that and convince yourself like what i did in order to read this i feel like you'll really enjoy this especially if you're into like shoujo romance series like something fluffy I, I was just in a very fluffy mood like because i've been reading so much slice of life recently i just need a bit of like fluffiness in my life like do you guys ever feel that when you read so much of a genre you just need like a like a change up you know just a switch up be like mm, today i'm feeling more of this you know sometimes i can read a little slice of life and i'm like right i need to read a smut series i need something smutty right now or like 
oh I'm reading some action series I need more action or maybe I just need something just light or maybe something depressing like I, I just switch moods quite easily also I'm a type of manga reader that goes off by mood so like depending on what mood I feel I'll read a certain series I don't really tend to be like oh I need to read this on the exact day or anything but like I tend to go off by how I'm feeling and that helps me choose what manga series I want to read that's why I have some struggles with certain series that I just don't really have a gravitation towards too if that makes sense I mentioned that with Kaguya Summer Lovers War and Kobe Can't Communicate those are series I have to be in a specific mood in order to read it because I can't just pick up and be like oh that's an enjoyable read as in some other series that I have in my collection I can just pick up no matter what mood I'm in and I'll read it and I'll enjoy it so I hope that makes sense but yeah that concludes the end of this manga haul look at this lovely stack so this is all the manga that i picked up in this manga haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always i'm not too sure if there's gonna be any manga haul anytime soon like i said i won't be back until two months time so maybe in two months time we'll see another manga haul from me or maybe next week you'll see another manga haul from me we'll have to see um it really depends as what I do is I tend to film a lot whilst I'm at home and then that helps me schedule out all my videos to post so you that makes it basically in my head it means I have a video out each week but it's basically filmed either back to back or anything like that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this manga haul definitely very fun like I'm just super excited to read a lot of these manga right now so I don't need to take it to uni with me but yeah let me know down below in the comment section on your opinions on any of the series that I picked up let me know if you have the same ones or like different like like I said this channel is not agree to agree community we're agree to disagree we can agree to agree like that is the reason why I love this community so much like it's just so genuine and I love all of you guys I can't thank ever enough like for all your love and support on this channel like you guys know like I just try my best to put as many videos out as possible even though things can get hectic sometimes but doing this has just been great fun and I'm just glad that you guys have stuck around and that stuff but yeah I hope you guys have a great day as always keep on staying healthy stay safe and have a great week guys I'll see you guys next week bye you pretend that I think you're